So from my experience in the U.S. on development of risk modeling, um, I think the main lesson for the NHS is don't do it like we do it. Um, because we managed to screw it up or not do it in a very effective way uh, as we do it. And things fall down in several stages. Um, some is in the model development. We try to model things that, that you really don't have the data to do. For example, you try to model what's the risk of going to, into a nursing home. And the main item that tells whether someone's going to go into a nursing home is whether you have a daughter within 10 miles of where you live. And if that's not in the database, so you can't really model that very effectively. Uh, the other area where we fall down a lot, and I think you probably have a similar experience here, is we don't evaluate very rigorously what we're doing. So we really don't know what works on the intervention side. So um, linking up the intervention to what the risk is is really hard to do, and we don't do that very effectively. So a a as you're doing risk modeling in this country, you really ought to try to do it in a, what we call a quasi-experimental mode where you can learn as much as possible from the data. Not really. I think, I think you've got to develop your own. The, the, our utilization patterns are fundamentally different than the utilization patterns in the UK. So you've got to develop your own models. But the principles behind the models are going to be the same. Prior utilization, prior diagnostic history, use of pharmacy, all those factors are the ones that are going to contribute to the risk of future hospital admissions. So the factors that you put in the model are going to be the same, but the model itself will probably di be different. So the question of, of what's the best intervention or what's the best application of the model, uh, I don't think we know that very well. Um, in the U.S., for example, most of the um, interventions are being done by commercial um, firms and they don't publish their results, so uh, we don't really know what the impact of, of the different interventions are. Some of um, the Medicare program has done some evaluations of s some interventions and those predominantly have shown that, that most of the interventions have not had much of an effect. So at this point, we actually don't know very clearly what works and what doesn't work. And so it's really hard to, to target models effectively. Um, and I think, I think that's the same case here. Uh, you've got lots of different people developing lots of different models, but we frankly don't know which ones are working and which ones are not working, especially on the, on the application and intervention side. You've done a moderately rigorous evaluation of the whole system demonstration project, which is going to be published shortly. Um, but that's the exception, not the rule. Yeah, I think, as I said, I think the biggest challenge for application of risk models is, is doing them in a way where you can learn as much as possible from the application of it itself. So that means trying to do it in, in what I said earlier as a quasi-experimental mode, where some patients are getting the intervention, some patients aren't. And then you can compare the patients who are getting the intervention with the ones that aren't. Um, and you can do it in a, in a formal experimental way, or you can just ran, you know, with randomization, or you can just implement it in stages of different parts of the country or different parts of wherever you're, you're implementing it, and learn from the ones, from the people who aren't in the intervention, who look just like the people who are in the intervention, is the intervention having an impact? So getting um, better idea about who it works for best uh, is what we need to do. At this point, we don't know whether interventions for the very high risky people are, are effective or whether you ought to be targeting a more moderate risk. And so until we know that, uh, it's really difficult to, to apply these things effectively. Well, I think what they've got to do is they've got to keep models up to date. The PAR model that they have now is, is getting a little um, old um, and they ought to be doing some comparison of the different models that are out there because some are going to work better than others. But then the most important thing is, is implementing it in, a, in a, a mode where we can learn as much as possible from what's working and what's not working. Because the main unknown here not, is now is not do the models themselves predict accurately who's going to have a hospital mission in the future. I think we're pretty confident that those models work pretty well. What we don't know is whom it works for best and how to target the interventions uh, to the patients and match up what the patient's needs are to what the intervention looks like.